Let me tell you this story, yeah? Yeah, I'm eager to know what that is. <laughs> I was walking with um, my then girlfriend. We were crossing the road, right? And uh, this guy from the other side shouted something. So he shouted some Hungarian words and my girlfriend got like, oh. And he told, she told me that what he said is that yeah. you're only with him because he <laughs> has a big dick. <laughs> everybody welcome welcome to my new series the hot seat guys it's out and today I have my first guest here Frankie Frankie it's hard to pronounce the full name Francesca oh yeah <laughs> uh, yeah thank you for being my first guest in this new series of 2021 thank you for having me too today we're going to discuss um, the cons the cons the cons yes and we are discussing the cons of you being in hungary let's talk about the first experience you know hungary has a lot of uh, very good uh, offers to give when it comes to advantages and all that there is a lot to enjoy these the, the scenery these okay that does not apply much when it comes to 2020 but yeah there's just a lot of good things you can talk about but it does not lack in the cons which are going to be discussing today with my guests. So the cons basically, let's talk about the first moment you entered Hungary. It's not as good for me, I think, social life in Hungary. Okay, uh, Frankie came during the pandemic. <laughs> he came during the pandemic and there was all these restrictions. You have not experienced like Budapest at its best when it comes to social life, but so far, what do you think? Um, you're right with that when i came uh, it wasn't easy because you know making friends is not possible at the moment mm -hmm. because of the restrictions but um when i was introduced to the first kenyans mm -hmm. i think those are the guys that i hang out most with mm -hmm. uh, we also have online classes so we are not able to meet each like my classmates and all the other guys but we meet once in a while i also have friends from my class mm -hmm. uh, and we meet once in a while so it's not it's not i can't say i'm really actively into it uh because most of the time i'm in the house mm -hmm. studying and you know, all doing that uh, we can't go out much i love nightlife but i can't go out <laughs> yeah i understand so your pain. my social life is a bit so down it, yeah it's really on the down. negative yeah, yeah it is yeah. I, I, would, I would agree i mean i would see that uh being the case since uh, it's during the pandemic but Okay, let me give you my idea of, um, it's a con to me in this way, mm -hmm. uh, Hungary does not offer a very friendly social life, if I were to say, because um, I think the culture here is different and when you go back home, everyone cares about the other person. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it yeah. gets to the point where everyone is in everyone's business, but still, uh, it's something you miss when you come here because, yeah, sirens. Mm -hmm. mm. Sirens everywhere, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's something but, like you miss uh, about people, you know, interacting with each yeah, other in a friendly way. Yeah. People just meet in public transport and it's oh, true. they kick start a conversation here. Yeah. No one, even amongst themselves, they just you keep to your distance, <laughs> you keep to yourself, I keep to myself. No one discusses anything, they are just frowning all the time. It's just yeah, weird. Like, nobody speaks to you. Yeah, no if, even if you like fall or something, no one will say sorry no or one. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I've not experienced that yet. But what I know is I'm, I'm actually staying with some Hungarians. Oh, really? And mm. they're a bit social in the house. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But you know, with what you're talking about, it's nothing out from there. Mm -hmm. So I would say yes, I miss I miss the times when people ask me how you doing. Yeah. You know, someone checking on even in your house without invitation. Let me tell you something uh, uh, about my experience immediately I came. Yeah. So I will, uh, I booked these uh, airport shuttle vehicles and I was like, oh, well, let's begin a new life. Mm -hmm. So and I tried to kickstart a conversation with the driver. Oh. 
that's the thing. <laughs> so I was like, ah, oh, so what do I expect in hand? The driver was like, he didn't even look back. He was like, mm. and then he kept quiet. And then I thought he didn't understand. Yeah. Yeah, he shrugged his shoulders all like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think it was language barrier. I, because he should have said something like, um, something to understand, like mm -hmm. to show you that I don't understand. Yeah. That's one thing also I've noticed the uh, language barrier. What is your experience? Oh yeah, that's for me, that's a big thing. Yeah, language big thing. barrier. You didn't realize until you came here, Until right? I got here. Uh -huh. First of all, I'm not doing an Hungarian course. Mm -hmm which was a, it wasn't really a must for my scholarship yeah so um so for me i only knew, know very few words mm -hmm. hungarian words and uh whenever i go to the supermarket whenever i go to the shops or something and everyone is just speaking to me in hungarian and i and i can't so we you know yeah it's a thing the worst thing is that i'm not able to communicate with my roommate your roommate is Hungarian. She's right? Hungarian and with very, very little English. So we are always, you know, Google Translator is our friend. Oh, so man. we use that. I so for me, it. it's um, the language barrier is really huge. Yeah. But I really appreciate that um, the professors in who are teaching us the courses, they really try. Yeah, all they struggle and try. Yes. Man. <laughs> but a, I love it. It's a big deal. Yeah. I love it. And I love that we are able to understand each other. And they're very patient if they don't understand what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Which is yeah. very important. So yeah. for me, language barrier is big. And uh, it's something maybe I should maybe I should pull up my socks and learn a few words. Hungarian words. There yeah. is that to that convenience I would yeah. say. You know how you speaking to someone and they are like, <laughs> my English is not very good. <laughs> <laughs> that has yeah, happened so often. And at first it was like, mm, yeah, okay, she's just trying to be, or he is just trying to be. Huh? But it just becomes a nuisance. With why aren't you confident? Mm -hmm. I've spoken to a few people. Uh, just a little Hungarian, the little Hungarian now, and I, I'm just so confident about it. You know, yeah. if you learn Hungarian, you speak it. You speak it. It's a foreign language. You are so confident about the few words, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think they should be confident with a few words and be able to communicate with other people despite their, um, you know, pronunciation. Sure. Wrong, and sure. despite their accent as well. Oh, the easy accent. They but really. All hate of us it. do. We all we have do. accents. Yes, Come on. we do. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing sexier than hearing someone speak yes. in an accent. I'm not so sure confidently. if mine is sexy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys tell uh, if uh, comment down below if you find Frankie's <laughs> accent sexy. Why is it so hard to make friends here? Oh God. <sighs> oh God. <laughs> guys, it's it's really hard. I don't know why. What do you think? There was this course I was doing. Uh huh. And uh, the professor was asking questions. How many friends do you have? Like, I did in a basket. And my basket was empty. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> and oh, I man, said, I, I need to you. do something about it. So I feel when, for you. Yeah, yeah when, she asked, when she asked, so how many, how many items do you have in your basket? And I was like, None. professor, I have a problem. I have zero. Because, Neil, because oh, I really understand you are a social hard. person. Yeah, yeah, it's From hard. how I've known her, she is very <laughs> social. Yeah. It's, it's weird how I have very social friends and I'm kind of an introvert. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you the tricks later, guys. Just inbox. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, drop the comments and I'll But this drop guy is so easy to get along with, honestly. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know. There's this separation in terms of... It's something embedded in them, I, I think. Mm -hmm. That Hungarians uh, separate themselves from foreigners mm -hmm. it's it's something it's like a culture i don't know and it comes just from the top from the government to their culture like deep into their roots because if mm -hmm. you try to look at it when we're living at the home you could never live with hungarian, hungarian. yeah they oh. didn't allow it by the way if, yeah. every time i tell guys i live with hungarians they're like really yeah and i'm like yeah so i i find it maybe the young people are easy to to live with. Mm -hmm. uh, they are more accepting yeah, yeah. than the older guys. Cause yeah, yeah. that that's that's my opinion. Cause at the moment I stay with two Hungarian guys and mm. they're good. Yeah, yeah. 
they're but, friendly yeah the management doesn't allow it i don't know why what what is that thing guys what, what is, is it what is it if you if you guys come to kenya the f- within the first week you oh have my like, god you'll have a thousand, like a thousand friends. friends at least 500 first friends yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to dump and choose one yeah please, but yeah. since i came here i'm still the one initiating friendships for the few friends that hungarian friends i have i'm still the one who initiates it i mean i'm not saying <laughs> they are really unfriendly especially the new generation you know yeah. with the new generation the world is changing and people are becoming more accepting we are dropping mm-hmm. the bad cultural practices yeah. and picking up on you know good relations we can talk about all that stuff it's very hard to make because we are mm. separated they mm. separate themselves but how come how come we don't have when you go to our social meetings we don't have hungarians like yeah, yeah. like you know we've met several yeah yeah for small parties yeah 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 but we don't have guys from this country yeah, come yeah, on where are you guys <laughs> <laughs> it's their country, it's country. But, like, uh, but i guess uh younger people are very accepting so i went to visit uh, a place i was just uh, going to take some photos and stuff and you know a young group of kids mm-hmm. just surround me and they are all these they're asking oh you're a youtuber you make videos and wow. stuff and it was just so fun and it was just so strange oh, as well because nice. i, I mm-hmm. don't i've not experienced that it's very rare in, in oh, hungary to communicate yeah oh english but they didn't know english that's why i'm ah. saying language is not the oh, yeah. language is not the problem it's the culture it's it's, the culture. it's how people are endorsing other people and mm-hmm. it comes just from the top from the government down below to what they are passing the messages and mm-hmm. all that have you tried looking for do you are you a novel reader i do uh-huh. yeah have you tried looking for english novels here um so far uh, the ones on offer no i i think they are there i've only i've not looked well but i have not seen any so far well i have searched and yeah. uh, they are very rare <clears throat> guys if you know a place where i can find english novels here in hungary in budapest please drop the comments down below mm-hmm. shopping and stuff your experience disadvantages you've experienced here mm. the the shops the grocery shops they are convenient mm-hmm. first of all you find everything mm-hmm. um yeah the ones that i go to near my place i can find everything the corn definitely um i can't read the ingredients <laughs> so even know. the products you have to like oh is this with time you learn it i mean it's something you learn with time yes yes and yes <laughs> you know i was looking for cumin uh-huh. oh, oh that it was, was terrible <laughs> uh immediately i came I, and i was at the town i spent about half a day mm-hmm. and i met this egyptian my first roommate was, was egyptian and immediately he was so friendly and he was like oh you want to do some shopping uh let's go and we went to little yeah and uh that was my first shock and uh, we were trying to find stuff mm-hmm. to buy and uh this guy had spent like uh four days before me he came four mm-hmm. days before me and he was he was telling me you can use Google translate i could not like buy essential stuff that i'm used to would time you adapt and learn yeah. and where you can find this and that but the only thing i could find that i'm used to is rice oh man that was hectic <laughs> i remember i can that, imagine that that was was hectic. Hectic. i could not understand anything it was just like a first experience for me yeah weather patterns weather 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 oh yeah when i came it was beautiful you came really beautiful in, yeah, at the end of summer i came at the end of summer so mm-hmm. it was going to autumn mm-hmm. and then autumn came and it was so beautiful that the trees the leaves falling and all this and then winter oh my god winter is terrible for me for you already i think it's th- cold the it's, cold i'm not used to i'm not used to that i've never gone beyond 15 or 13 <laughs> that's but, that yeah. at 15 is where we're like oh man july in yes, kenya, in kenya cold. we call it winter um, access to amenities and stuff amenities like uh let's say you need to get your hair done okay. services like that you need to get a shave 
you need to buy clothing. guys before you before you even finish that conversation <laughs> guys know how to make your hair especially <laughs> african hair you you have to work it out on yourself yeah you, yeah there is no other option i have no option and if you find someone else who is gonna do it oh they are gonna take a lot of cash from you guys because they are the only one who can do it so it's it's Might very well. expensive I've, I've tried to do my hair mm -hmm. here but the salons that i found they're very expensive i can't very afford ex very but expensive. the good thing is i'm able to work a bit on my hair so i'm good with that for now mm -hmm. yeah most of them are run by nigerian uh, girls west africans west yeah. africans yeah. west africans have been here for, for yeah, quite they've some been here time for a while. so most of them run these shops and they know that there's no other place you can go to get your hair done so might as well take a lot of cash from you <laughs> so that's the thing these small social amenities that we we used to enjoy yeah. which were very cheap back home and uh you come here in those amenities uh not there mm -hmm. or very expensive in that case very expensive very expensive I, I think if you're able to work with your hands especially anything to do with your hair yeah you can be rich except you. A yeah small rich guy <laughs> So before you come here, learn how to shave hair and you can come start learn a business. Learn how to braid your hair too. And you can help his, his life So that you us. can help us. <laughs> Let's talk about love life. Okay. <laughs> what Francesca, about you, love? Just, you just <laughs> came the other day. I just, yeah, I just came the other day. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so you've not recently dated any, intermingled with any, or dated it. No. It's, it's an interaction case. It's an interaction. No, I, I, have, I have not dated you know yet. Mm. I've been here for a few months and... Mm. COVID. COVID, no interactions at all. You can't go to a restaurant and have a date. You cannot go to a movie theater and have a date. You cannot literally do anything. You cannot meet someone in the pub. Yeah, you cannot <laughs> meet someone in the pub. <laughs> do you want to hear my experience? Life? <laughs> I love life, Simon, tell me. No, you know, I, I can talk Good. much about that, but um, let's talk about my experience mm -hmm. with Hungarian. Girls. yes well uh obviously uh having come here approaching uh obviously tried to approach you know the kenyan style mm -hmm. and <laughs> it works for some time and then it doesn't work it's just it's 50 50. it could work for you if someone understands english it yeah. could not work for you so it's just some tiring process and my first you know attribute i look for is confidence so when you're not confident that you can speak to me i don't mm. speak good english oh no <laughs> that's an x and it's completely i don't think it's going anywhere language itself is intimate it leads to that yeah so if you're not able to understand each other it's going to be hard for you jokes yeah you know what Sorry. jokes is one way of understanding a language if you can understand a language in a jokes in a language then you really yes. can understand the language yeah yeah I so you so. can tell a joke in there they, you don't get the reaction you really you can express a sentence of humor and you don't get the reaction you are expecting it mm -hmm. you just had broken sorry hungarian love life here is not mature for my i don't know i haven't dated yeah. anybody yeah we could have maybe have yeah. a second thought on that it's true yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but from my experience i think it's not mature enough for that it's not mature for me oh okay yeah sure that's what i think Unless you want want to go guess. But but you see, the last time I told you you're too mature for your age, you remember? Mm -hmm. We were having a conversation, yeah, 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 I and I told you, uh, I think you're really mature. For my age. Yes, and it's it's not something you find in most men, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh God. Yeah, it's true. I'm blushing. Yeah, it yeah, is. <laughs> it's true, honestly. Thank you, you thank you, Frankie. Yeah, you are. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Unless so now thoughtful. I want to start dating. 35 year olds and above sorry mom i'm not gonna do that but <laughs> <laughs> they are very nice people actually mm, mm. maybe i didn't get the right maybe person. yeah i'm not looking again <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying there is uh there is there are still some good people out there these yeah. they are incredible people here in hungary it's not that everyone is bad it's just like we've been discussing the cons mm -hmm. the disadvantages of been here in Hungary guys and uh, that's all for today I think
that's all oh, there's Simon, so much thank you for having there's, me there's so much to discuss we yeah should, we should have like a one hour or two hours podcast discussing yeah. these issues but thank you for coming frankie sure thank uh, you and i wish you a beautiful it was so stay. much fun guys mm-hmm. yeah beautiful stay i hope covid goes away so frankie can experience the things i've experienced already sure. yeah i'm yeah. looking forward to that okay really yeah yeah mm-hmm. Have a, have a good one guys bye <laughs> we'll in the next one and uh, should I share your Instagram Facebook you stuff okay I'll drop the the links down below guys so go show her some, show her some love I'm sure. already shrubbing show her some love guys oh. <laughs> go show her some love and I'll see you guys in the next one see ya <laughs>